Capital City correspondent Monica Casey was speaking with city leaders about Saturday's confrontation. Monica, what are you hearing today? Well, every city, city commissioner that I spoke with today says they have a lot of questions about what happened on Saturday. All of them agree this investigation should remain open, and they're asking more people to come forward with information. This is an outrage, and there needs to be accountability. Tallahassee City Commissioners reacting to Saturday's incident caught on camera by WCTV. I'm extremely troubled that an armed counter-protester would come to a peaceful protest uh, with the intent of disrupting that protest. Mayor John Daly calling on protests to remain peaceful. So I'm asking everybody to work with us. Obviously, we believe in peaceful protest and we want to support voices being heard and we are listening, but there is a manner that we can work very well together. The Tallahassee Police Department asking protesters to obtain permits for the events to allow for proper staffing. But I'm going to also insist that our police department continue to work cooperatively uh, with groups of young people like this who want to peacefully protest to ensure their safety. Commissioner Jeremy Matlow posting a series of questions on social media saying they need to dig deeper. So we have witnesses that say they weren't they were never interviewed. We need to get the whole story out there. Um, we want to make sure every video that the public may has comes forward so we can resubmit that to TPD. We can resubmit it to the state attorneys and just take a closer look at this incident because it doesn't seem like all the pieces are adding up. And we did reach out to TPD Chief Lawrence Revel for an interview today, but did not hear back on that request. Reporting live at the Governor's Club, Monica Casey, WCTV Eyewitness News. Okay, Monica, and like we said, the investigation continues. Thank you.